Hello, friends. Welcome to Turtle Power Presents the Power Playthroughs Podcast with Turtle Power. I'm your host, Turtle Power. And this is the podcast where we play games in a powerful way. Uh, we're checking out Veritas today. I'm very excited for this one. Uh, this is from Colorgrave. They've put out a cool game. Uh, a, a cool games? A few cool games. Um, I've only played a little bit of their library, um, but they have just great art style. I say as I'm talking over a wonderful cutscene here of like a king got slashed in the face, and now there's a cool green haired chick. And now there's like a rat guy, uh, he's delivering a letter or something. And then there's a, a blue, uh, maybe a, like a water-based creature she looks like. And this guy looks like he's cooking up some food for us. Oh, I love him. Um, there's like, oh, a dark elf lady, she looks cool. Um, this is a Zelda-inspired game uh, that I've been watching for a while and has looked very, very cool as they posted stuff on Twitter. And then uh, they made uh, a, a silly joke about uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom uh, not feeling like it had bespoke dungeons and the internet exploded and got very mad at them and it was very, very stupid that they got so mad. Uh, anyway, we're going to dive into Veritas. Press start. All right. Uh, we'll choose an empty save file and get into things. Okay. Uh, we're looking at a top-down perspective. We're a little guy in the middle of the screen. Uh, the actual active gameplay area is basically a solid square. I'm trying to think if I should move. We're going to move my camera like over here maybe is that a better spot i don't know what's going to be in that section uh we've got on the left hand side and the right hand side columns showing information about our inventory and stuff but ahead of our character there's like a sparkle thing so we're gonna walk up to it and we see texas brother can you hear me there's not much time left and then sparkles go off above us and so we follow the sparkles even in the shroud can you feel it we're just in blackness except for these sparkles it's breaking free we must press on and then there's a, a, a lady in gold. Her name is Anitha. You must fulfill your duty. Remember only what drives you forward. Those that seek shadow will find it. So too those who seek light. And now we're in light and we're in a, like a Zelda dungeon. There's a, a thing in the corner here. A voice whispers into your mind. Seek my brother to awaken me. It's like a statue. There's a couple of columns here that I think represent skulls. We've got a pickaxe. And uh, up in the corner, there's a, a door blocked by some rocks that we can break with our pickaxe. Very much like the other game of theirs I played, which I am ashamed to say I am forgetting the name of now. Uh, oh, two buttons in this room and a barrel. Can we... We can hit the barrel with our pickaxe and it rolls. So we push it on that button. We stand on that one. That opens the path. Uh, now it says Memoria. I think that's like the name of the dungeon, basically. Um, let's see... Oh, right here, we can break this and come up and step on this button. That switches where the blocks are. I, 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 I love it. Uh, this is like a Game Boy Color aesthetic for Zelda, um, or for a Zelda-style game, which uh, Link's Awakening DX... Uh, heart ore. With enough of these, I can increase my vitality. Perfect. Uh, Link's Awakening DX is like... That, that, that was my Zelda game for a long time as a kid. Um, so anything that recalls... Ow! I stepped into the really spiky thing. Anything that recalls that aesthetic makes me just so happy. We got some rats. Hit him with our pick. Knock that one into a hole. Hit this one with my pick. Hit him again. And he's dead. Oh, there's some blocks in the corner here. Let's break those. What that does. Nothing there. All right. Ooh, okay. Uh, so when you hit a barrel, it rolls. And there are four switches in this uh, room and four barrels. Um, but I'm not going to be able to get... Oh, I can get a barrel onto this one because I can hit it down until it runs into another barrel. There we go. And then hit this one over. Heck yeah. A little bit of, little bit of Sokoban in there. So Sokoban? 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 Not sure. Ooh, bones! Maybe I should bury them. Okay. Killed a bat and got some bones. A chest! Normal key! Better go find a normal lock. Okay. Head up and out of here. And I think there was a lock back in that room that had the columns I could switch. I think. Get out of here. Get out of here, mouse. Ooh, I got a coin. I have 21 coins. Right here is a lock. Go through that door. Here's another chest and also another heart ore. Thank you. Please. Okay. Uh, let me step on that. That's going to raise those columns. A dread hand. I can still use this to warp within rooms. Seems like a lifetime ago. Is this a direct sequel to the, the other game that I started playing? 
I think this might be a direct sequel to that. In which case... Oh man, I should go finish playing that one first. I thought these were independent, but that 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 line sure made it seem like it's a sequel. Uh, Minus says, Wow, one day I hope I can stand up to monsters too. I want to be just like you, Dad. What are you doing in this dungeon? Why are you in here with me? Oh, boss fight. Or, whoa, that guy's fast. Okay. He, there's a fast guy. Oh, the fast guy ran off the edge of the cliff, so it didn't even matter. Goodbye, fast guy. Um, he spawned a couple of regular zombie-like guys. Beat them. Open a chest, got another key. Which is going to open this door over here after I get another heart ore. Heck yeah, that's four. Oh, it's dark in this room. Oh, there's a creepy hand. Are we stepping out onto the creepy hand? Oh, the creepy hands are making like a pathway for us. Oh, I don't like that. Hello, Ratman. His name is Zegul. Un. It's good to finally see you again. Many missings. Trust Zegul. Would never lie. Then, wouldn't be honest. Oh, Croakman sent letter for Orn. Letter to Orn Grail from Croc Crocodile. This started such a mess. A monument for all the guides who didn't make it back. Do I? Can I read the letter somewhere in my inventory? No? Letter. Uh, letter. Dear Orn, I do pray this letter finds its way to you safe and sealed. You need to come to Fenisa immediately. It will make sense when you arrive. Okay. Um. Oh, more creepy hands making a bridge. And now we're in a more colorful area. We got bats, we got blocks we can push. Um, this room is scaling, so even though you're looking at a pretty small screen at any given time, um, there are bigger rooms available to you. Um, which I honestly don't remember if the Game Boy Color Zelda games did that? I feel like they did, but I might be mixing them up with uh, Minish Cap. I know it did that. Um, this room has, uh, like, rail tracks going all through it. Are we gonna get to do a minecart ride? Ow, 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 ow! Stop, stop hitting me! Okay. And another key. This door, here we go. Got you. Not getting me this time. Spikes, watch your step. I don't know what spikes do. Here's a little girl again. Do you think if I ran I could get across that unsteady floor too? Show me, Dad. Use right trigger or right shift to run. Whoa! Okay, I rolled okay. That was stupid. I rolled a barrel across the floor and that broke it, but I can run across it. There we go. And I got a lariat. I can still use this to pull myself to heavy objects or lighter things to me. So this works like my hook shot then. Cool. Okay. Ow. Stupid little blob guy. So I can hook onto that barrel. There we go. Must be something I missed back here that I can now lariat. There we go. Just blocks out of my way. Lariat across there, and that takes me to a new door. Excellent. Um, wait. Ah, I can push the barrels in the water and they'll make a bridge. There we go, there we go. Excellent. Okay, here's the other statue. I activated it and it took me back to the first one. Okay, I can swap between them now. I don't know that that's particularly useful. Dad, yeah, do you really have to leave again? Okay. You didn't forget my drawing though, did you? Nope, you can't leave without it. It's good luck, I promise. Your drawing? Where is it? Did you not like it? Where's 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 her drawing? Is it back at the beginning somewhere? Something I missed? Um I went through all of these areas. I'm wondering if there's somewhere back here that like I can use the Lariat now that I have it. 
I don't remember being there anything. Not that way. Oh cool, you can lariat enemies. That's neat. Over here, nope, I just checked over there. Okay, come up here, reset the room. Go through there. Got everything from, oh wait, what's, this block is suspicious. Nope, okay. Spooky hands. More spooky hands. Takes me to the railway area. More of her letter, or her drawing. I have no idea what you're talking about, little girl. Oops, that was the wrong button. Her drawing. Her drawing. Oh, no, no, this is where she is. Dad, do you really have to go again? Okay, you didn't forget my drawing, though, did you? Can't leave without it. It's good luck, I promise. Where is it? Do you not like it? Is it not that? Up there, there's a book. Is that not what she wants me to have? Oh, wait. <laughs> there was a pathway to the right. Um, how do I get up there, though? Oh, wait. Ah! The floor's crumbling in this room. This is our house? Why is the floor crumbling? The book stands, in your thought stands out in your thoughts. Will you read it? Sure. It began with a terrible question, one unknown to mortals but asked among the gods. Their pantheon was fractured. Nixian became hate, and many gods followed him in his answer, while the others followed Revulan in hers. At first, it seemed the war was hopeless, with hate's legions washing across the world. But as things began to look darkest, heroes among the mortals rose to drive them back, led by the hero Torin. Bit by bit, they clawed back territory against hate and his ilk. The war only finally met its end with the death of Veritas, hidden away in his castle. Protected by a wall of shadow through which no mere mortal could pass. Cool. Um, here's her drawing down here. Got it. She's gotten pretty good. Glad I remembered to bring it. Okay, let's go back. And then we can go over here. Oh, she's gone. Another book. Um, more creepy hands. Ah, uh, here's some people. Here's the green haired lady. Her name's Illy. She says, hey. Here's a dude in a cool green hat. His name's Crocodile. Ah, or everyone's favorite miner. You hear the news? Tragic stuff with the king. Certainly puts me in a bit of a bind. Our mutual friend wasted no time filling that void. Hey. Which brings us to you. Okay, oh. and here's the Dark Elf Lady, Lacrima. Good to see you again, Grail. Crocodile filled me in. Oh. This journey won't be easy, but Crocodile couldn't have built a better team for the job. Oh. I'll be counting on you, Grail. And more creepy hands take us out the door. Nope, takes us to a boss fight. It's a giant version of one of those little slime guys. Oh, man. Can I... Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, I killed him by accident with a jar. I'll take it. I'll take it. That was fast. Surprised me. Startling. Uh, now we're following Mina across creepy hands in the darkness. She's fading away. Why is she fading away? Uh, here's a starfish? It looks like Star You. Anatha's Blessing. Use left trigger on your controller or caps on your keyboard to toggle divine energy into your source. Grace, call that super fast. We need to clean your race car? Yeah, that goes super fast. That Which one? Can you can you go get it and show me? Okay. Uh toggle divine energy into your swing. So it, it lets me do Whoa, it lets me do a cool spin attack. Cool. Oh, this one. You need to clean it? Yeah. Oh, what's on it? I don't know. Sticky stuff? Oh, okay. Yeah, let me finish this and then we'll go wash it, okay? Yeah, and then we'll see. Mmm, maybe. How well, many? Because I got stuff I gotta take care of today. Okay? Um. Oh. Sunny says, finally made it. Took long enough, didn't it? Oh. I'm starving. Hope we sort out camp soon. A warm stew sounds good in this cold, dead castle. Uh, a wolfman with horns? Oro says, you look better, brother. We were worried. Come, we have work to do. 
Uh, Lacrima says, looking a little mort with it, Grail. Huh. What a sight. Look at the size of this place. If nothing else, the primordials have a thing for dramatics. Huh. No time to take in the view, though. Let's get moving. Hmm. Shall we? And then Zegul says, all right, we finally make it to place. Very big, bigger than imagined. Too big. Think of all the dust. Zegul can feel it. We come seek shadow, but it not that. Trust Zegul. Something else here, worse than creepy urn hand. Okay, I'm going to a castle thing. Castle Veritas. Seems early to have entered Castle Veritas, but all right. Yoru, the blue maybe fish lady, says, you can read the text on that statue, right? It's so fun that you can just read Primordial. That makes three of us. Here lies a great burden and many duties taken. May all who enter tread respectfully. We just straight into another dungeon? Cool. Huh. Uros already threw the others across. Mind your step. This room is coming apart. So Uros is going to chuck huh. me across? All right, let's go, Uros. <laughs> Uh-oh, everything's shaking after he threw huh. me. That scream felt like it shook from the foundations. Any idea what that was, Uros? Oh, no. And then we see me falling in a very cool little cutscene. Uh, but Dark Elf Lady catches me. Uh, you all right, Grail? Oh, man. That was cool. Thank Rain, everyone is all right. Now we're in, like, a room with a little ah. painting on the wall. That was close enough for me. Didn't expect you to need another hand so soon. We're in it now, though. Time to split up and see what we can find. It's a cool painting. Oh, I clicked on the painting. And I'm in the painting now. What? Mm. Ah, yes, hello, Master. Such a lovely place to be summoned to. Shall I record your deeds thus far, Master? Sure, save my game! Uh, because I gotta go help my kid clean a car. Um... I've handled your wounds. Oh, thanks. Uh, cool. So we can travel into a painting to save our game. This is very cool. Um, I'm excited about this one. Like, I, again, anything from the studio, like, immediately has my attention just because their art style is so cool. But the fact that this seems to be, um, a very puzzle-oriented Zelda-like, ah, fantastic. I think I am gonna go back and finish playing that, that other one, though. Um, why can I not think of the name of that one? Uh, I'm gonna have to look it up. I'm doing it. I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up. What's it called? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Maybe I'm not looking up. My computer's loading slow. A Fey Seed. That sounds exciting. I also really love this mechanic of the claw that just takes you back to the start of the room. Um, I think that's a really interesting idea. Okay, so that's the room I started in, but I can't get back across now. Can I lasso onto that? I can. And the fact that it gives you, like, this hookshot type item... At the very beginning, I love. Because I love a hookshot type item. A book. I'm not going to read it right now. Because I'm just waiting for my computer to finish loading. Uh, hmm. Can't get across there right now. Ow. Also, the fact that it has a run button. Ooh, so good. Um, we'll put that there. Push that there. Oh, no, I screwed up. Okay. So. Wait, there's five switches, so I have to stand on one. So I didn't screw up. Okay. So we'll put this one here. This one here. This one here. This one here. And this one here. This one, the last... The last, this one being me. Um, all right, here's one of those speedy guys. I'm ready for you this time. Ow! No, I'm not. Got it. All right, a treasure chest. Fracture charm. With this, my charge attack will be a powerful forward strike. I didn't even know I had a charge attack. Does not seem to be a powerful forward strike, though. I must have to equip that somewhere. Nope, that's not what I want to do, search. Oh, what is that game called? I just did an episode on it recently. I'm ashamed. Uh... Push this over here. Stand on that, opens the door. Fly across here, get some jams, which I think that's actually health. A 
couple zombos in this room. Let's see. Color Grave. Steam Developer. Not Curse Crackers. Not Veritas. That's what we're playing now. Not for whom the bell tells. Prodigal! Prodigal is the one I'm thinking of. Goodness. Um. Uh, so yeah, I'll have to do a little checking and verify if this is in fact a story sequel to that or just a gameplay sequel. Um, whoa! That thing like... It's like a flippy thing! You, you, you lay it onto it and it sends you flying. That's fun. I like that. Oh man, two Axe Boys. The Axe Boys are the ones that run fast. Got them. And this looks like a boss door here. Okay. Cool. Um, push that down. Push that over. That over. Fall to my death. Okay, we're gonna grab this big rock and throw it over there. And then we're gonna... Okay, that worked. Uh, then we're gonna throw it up there to go on the button and go to get the key! Love it. Just, like, the, the fact that it, like, this is so, like, it does the satisfaction of Zelda dungeon exploration, um, but it's very fast and snappy, in, in large part, uh, due to... Whoa! I planted a face seed, and it made a plant grow up into the ceiling, and took me to a room where I got an ancient alloy. Okay, cool. Um, it's all the satisfaction of exploring a Zelda dungeon, but it's very, very fast and snappy, in large part due to that run button. But even without the run button, uh, the, the gameplay and the pathing through the dungeon is quick and snappy, like the Game Boy Color Zelda dungeons are. Um, I really, really like it. I died. Uh, that's where we're going to end it for today, friends. Thank you for hanging out with me to check out uh, Veritas. Uh, be sure to check out Color Grave. They've got a bunch of great games over there. Um, thank you to them for sending over a key for this so I could check it out. Um, and uh, don't get... Just understand that sometimes people make jokes on the internet and you don't have to be mad about it. It's okay. Until next time, friends, tap A and hope for the best. If you enjoyed my show, it would mean a lot if you would rate and review it on iTunes, share it on social media, or check out my Patreon. You can find all of my stuff at troidalpower.carrd.co. This has been a presentation of the We Can Make This Work Probably Network. Follow us on Twitter at probablywork for more of our questionable content. Also, we have a website called probablywork.com. <laughs>